Hello, <laughs> welcome to my new apartment. I finally finished moving to Oslo with all my camera equipment, so I thought I would make a new YouTube video. It's really expensive to live in Oslo, so I've been needed to work a lot the last weeks, and unfortunately I can't live just by making YouTube videos. Uh, however, I'm really lucky to be able to work with other film pro projects and still get the income I need. Uh, for example, a couple of months ago, I was asked to make a simulator, actually. Uh, not a car simulator or flight simulator, but a rowboat simulator for a museum. And of course I said yes, because it sounded really excited. And now it's done, and I made a behind-the-scenes video of the whole project. Uh, so I thought I would show it to you guys, because in my opinion, behind-the-scenes videos are the most fun to watch. So, yeah, I just hope you like the video. <laughs> yeah, now I'm at a new uh, film project. Uh, this time, so there is actually a film for a robot simulator at a museum. It's very special. It becomes a virtual trip, a virtual robot trip, through the water. We will film from a robot uh, in some first person um, with Red Epic. Vi skal filme i 5K og filme et fisheye objektiv, 180 grader. Fordi på museet skal det være et lærerett som går rundt en robot i 180 grader. så at man får sidesyn og fremsyn. Så det blir spennende. Jeg har aldri gjort noe sånt før i Norge, så gleder oss veldig. Så det var for bra å være i dag, så det er viktig. Jeg ville ikke ha droppet Red Epic i vannet so it was important to protect the rig. The lens I used is a Canon 8-50mm, which enables me to shoot in 180 degrees. It's called a fisheye lens, and is used a lot in skateboard films. We wanted to film three separate trips that you could choose on the simulator. It's expensive to rent the Red Epic, so we wanted to shoot everything in just two days and move quickly between the locations. We got help from school classes and friends to make each trip more exciting. On some trips we wanted the audience to feel like they were going ashore as well as walking on land. This was the fun part. Da roper jeg, vær så god når vi starter å filme. Skal du starte? I guess it's hard to understand how all this could become a virtual simulator, rather than just a film. Often simulators are games, where the audience can control everything. By using film instead, we get less options, but the simulator we get more realistic visually. Og... Vær så god! Yeah. 
the museum, the robot had finally been delivered. It was made by a company in Denmark, which specializes in developing machinery. The boat is made by an old pram, combined with hydraulics, so you feel the resistance when rowing. Then it was time to set up the screen. It was important to get all measurements right, so the picture would be perfect. We wanted to take the advantage of the 5K material we had shot. And since there are no 5K projectors, and very few 4K projectors that can handle a 180 degree screen, we used three full HD projectors instead. Since the screen was custom made, we had to hire a man just to calibrate the screen. He took pictures of the screen, so his program could adjust and bend the picture. Meanwhile, I was editing the videos. Since it was shot with a fisheye lens, I had to distort the video so it would look as natural as possible. I used a filter in After Effects called Vizier Warp to manually drag and distort the shot. It took some time, but it made it look more realistic. Some people prefer using the filter called Optics Compensation. It's easier to use, but the sides will get too blurry in my opinion, especially for the screen we were going to use. With the Red Epic, I was able to shoot HDRX. With HDRX, the camera shoots two image tracks simultaneously. One track is with normal exposure, and the other track is an underexposed shot. By doing this, you can combine these tracks in post-production and create a shot with higher dynamic range. Instead of just a white sky, you are now able to see all the details in the highlights and in the shadows. I have to look a little more on the eye. Skåt in, then. Da må du ro motsatt vei med årene. Since the videos were meant for a museum, it was important that the audience could learn something. I contacted a great sound technician and an actor who recorded a voiceover for all the videos. Hei, og velkommen til friområdet Skogsborg. Back at the museum, my friend Andre, who is a game developer and programmer, was working on the software for the simulator. To connect the boat to the PC, we needed some sensors. Next day, two guys dropped by with a custom-made processor, which could translate the movement of the oars to a language that Andreas' software could handle. To make all the three projects look like one, we needed to add something called edge blending. Edge blending makes the transition between each projector seamless. To use this effect, we needed a powerful PC to play the videos and a really good graphic card. If you are into PCs, you probably would kill to get this card. <laughs> so for the next days, me and Andrea had to hurry to finish the simulator. Within a couple of days, the museum was to open with a ceremony including journalists and politicians, and they would probably be really interested in the simulator. As always, there's a lot of work in testing the last days. So we decided to have a night at the museum, just as the film with Ben Stiller, if you have seen it. <laughs> we were really close to the finish line, even though we encountered some strange bugs during the night. We crossed our fingers, hoping that the simulator would work the next day. And they are working here day and night. They have had a madras with them here. They have driven for day and night. Okay, now I'm really nervous. <laughs> Seems like the first one to test it is a famous Norwegian politician. Well, they can actually be really good at all the time. They're laughing. That's probably a good sign. I hope. <laughs> I 
Oh, my boss is smiling. That's that's a good sign. Please, no bugs, no bugs. <laughs> Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, so now we know where to go this summer. <laughs> Add a link to the museum and the simulator in the description. In the next video, I will show you guys this one. Uh, it's a really nice camera equipment, really cheap and really practical. So I'll show it to you in the next video. Oh, okay. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>